It's 8 p.m. It's time to code. Thank you, Super Sheep. Uh. Welcome back everybody, welcome, it's Saturday night, I need to turn that down for myself, it's a bit loud, that doesn't affect, that's fine, oh, okay, that's fine, you can still hear the music right, good evening everybody. Thank you, Natchke, Natche. Thank you, Natchkebia. Uh, I look like a McFly or some or something. Willie ninety four said that shirt. Ha 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 ha! Look at that. My mum bought me this shirt, and I said I don't really wear that sort of thing, but thanks. And here we are. I'll send her uh, that bit maybe. Thank you, ten thirty. Uh, good evening, everyone. Why is it done up all the way? Uh, because I'm from London, we sort of dress dress well, you know. Right. You gotta put the top button. You gotta do your top button. <sighs> right. Get get off of that. So everybody, welcome back. The background for the new lappy. I like it. Yes. So you should be watching me in ow. <laughs> You should be watching me in 1080 if, if you can. Uh, we have a new lappy, everybody. In fact, I should shout out my new lappy. Oh, how do I do this? Ah, oh, man, I banged my knee there. You're on 480s, Willie94. Thank you so much, Plompy. In fact, let me get this here. Where can I have it? Can it go on that side? Ah, there's a place. Let me make that. That is. Oh, I don't want to see my amount of viewers. It's on now. We're gonna get started soon, everybody. Last time we were here, we um, we wasted a lot of time at the top, to be honest. Wasted, wasted too much time. We're not going to do that today. Yes, we'll do a bit of rambling, obviously, because that's the you know, bit, little bit of fun. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna t talk too much r r rubbish at the top. Paul B Gaming, 420p to go with that shirt. Let's see your shirts, Paul B Gaming. You can, you never even, you don't even have a top button. So, uh, plomp, plompiont. Thank you so much for the two month resub. RS Ameth, thank you for the three month streak. Thanks for the gnarly content. Cheers from the south of Africa. Oh. Thank you, Fight Lab, for subscribing. Welcome to the code. Uh, and thank you, Mike Jones, 545 for 100 bits. Okay, I can move that out of the way. So I'm operating off two monitors for the first time. We've not been able to do that before. I have a new. Uh, I have a new. What? that not for god's sakes man that not work we have a new a lappy everyone a lappy is uh, what you call a laptop in uh in london and i believe in scotland that's not opening oh that happens sometimes all right i can't tell you what my lappy is but it's something uh crazy uh, we call it a lappy in in Scotland. Uh, I believe it's called a bobby. Oh, okay. Right. London, UK. That's right. So I suppose we should begin by. So look at this. You can see this is for YouTube. I've done this. Welcome if you're watching on the YouTube. I believe I've made 30 pence on YouTube uh, in a year. Uh, do let me know, by the way, if the uh, if that background is dis is distracting. I think it's good. I think it looks good. 
but obviously it's going to keep moving. You can all hear the um, you can all hear the music, right? So we're going to go through the script first. Oh, can I see some emotes, please? Uh, I think. Just want to check that they're working here. Doesn't look like they are. Very nice music, by the way. I'm going to give you the playlist. So this playlist is called Stream Beats, and it is uh, it's free. It's obviously it's free. It's on YouTube, but more importantly, it's a non-copyrighted. It's it was made by Harris Heller, uh, who is a like a good like a good Twitch guy. Tells you about how to do everything. If you want to stream, he's a good person to look at. Non-copyright, it sounds too good to be true. Absolutely. There's only one playlist you need, and that's the Coder official theme tune. Let me, I don't have the Coder official theme tune on me because I have the one you done like last week. And um, there we are. I have the one you done, did like last week, but I don't have the, um, the latest because the video is four hours long. And I, I'm not. So let's go through what we have so far. I'm not going to waste too much time. What time? Oh, it's only 8.07. What? I've only been on seven minutes. Oh, I need to... Sorry, I need to do this. Right, I need to get rid of the alerts I've done. And then that's... Thank you so much, Charles Pangs, for subscribing. Welcome to the Coda, Charles, pa Charles Pangs. Thank you, Spring Moss PNW, for gifting a sub to... One stone too many. That's a good name. And now look at you. you got a little sub thing there. I need to make Kodra emotes. I've not done that. I need to do that. Uh, Chicken Coops, thank you so much for 500 bits. Latchmore, thank you for resubscribing for three months. Uh, dead, you say? <laughs> yeah. Taki Fenston, thank you so much for gifting out two subs. Steve Brads, thank you for the... Uh, Thank you for the two-month resub. Uh, Mar is it Marie Mary Biscuits? Thank you for 100 bits. And Podcast Merch. Thank you for the three-month streak. That's Podcast Merch, everybody. Oh, the emotes are working now. Oh, that's what I... Oh, that's... Have I done it wrong? Oh, right. I've stuck them in the corner. That's what I did wrong. Okay. So your emotes should fly behind us now. There's your chat on the side. I've done that uh, partly for... Well, I guess mainly it's cool. But also for the for you if you're watching on you youtube.co.uk it's a british website i don't know if you have it in okay so we're gonna read through what we have so far we can do that now yeah we'll read through what we have so far now it's quite a lot so it's gonna take um how much do we have so far we have um We have, sorry, I'm just looking at myself. I just need to focus. We have, how many pages do we have? We have 13, is it? Or we're on, okay, we're just starting. All right, we're nearly at the end of page 12. I mean, I haven't really put that on the thing quite like that, but yeah, it's fine. On the videos online, but that's fine. So, we have about 12 and a bit pages, so it's going to take about 12 minutes to read through the whole thing. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it, everybody. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong. There you go. Right. So, from the top. Thank you, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for all your, all your kind words about everything, about the new... So, uh, I have a new... Um, in fact, let me, let me tell you about my laptop before we begin. We have a gaming laptop now, everyone. Oh. Discord. Sometimes I need to... I love this music. Right, 
Alright, we'll try again. Right, that's not going to work. I have a very good Lappy, everyone. A Lappy is a laptop. Uh, it was donated to us by um, how to, the How to Kill an Hour podcast. In fact, I'll stick them in the... Uh, they've not even asked me to um, sort of talk about them like this, but I thought, why not? It's the How to Kill an Hour podcast. I am the latest guest on there, but it's quite a big, it's quite a big podcast. It's in the chat there. How to Kill an Hour podcast. Um, they talk about a lot of game stuff, a lot of tech stuff. Uh, I, uh, yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm the latest guest. They had Chris Kamara on. He's a big p person. Uh, football legend, good dear friend, played with the, the lad. And uh, they've, they've had DJ Jazzy Jeff on, who some of you will know. Uh, he is... Uh, jazz from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but also he's an amazing DJ. He's done a lot of stuff with the Roots. If you like good music, thank you so much, Froy Bard, for gifting a sub to Commentator Clutch, and thank you, Moon Boots, for subscribing. Welcome to the Coda, Moon Boots. Okay, so we're gonna go through what we have so far <clears throat> from the top, everybody. This is everything we've written so far, so welcome if you're new here, if you've just stumbled by somehow. This is... Oh, let me put the theme to the coder in. Okay, fine. Let's listen to it then. I love to code. All right, pause. Let me... Uh, okay, I'm going to stop our brilliant playlist for a second to listen to what this young coder... Okay, the film is based on him, to be fair. Loosely based. In fact, I should go back and listen to your autobiography. And the clones, though, the clones are based on chapter three, when Limmy talks about how he felt like a clone when he was in year eight. Oh, you don't call it that in Scotland, do you? You say, like, secondary B or something. Right. Love it. Not as much as I do. Here, who's that? <laughs> You're telling me they've copy and pasted, yeah? JavaScript, C, PHP, ActionScript, SQL, Basic, I am the coder. How's this for a mega boy? As this for a mega boy? That line hasn't even come up yet. Oh no, what's this? No, 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 no. What's this? No, no, I don't want to listen to these other stuff. Oh, right, Pancakes. Ugh. What was that? What started playing after? What is this? Oh, that's not even yours. Glock Fist Retrofit, that was. Anyway. Let's go back to... Uh... Let's go back to the first song. This is beautiful. Look at this. Doesn't this make you emotional? So, we're going to go from the top now. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, the coder is... Wait, can you... You can't hear me, can you? Oh, that's the mic. Turn that up. Turn... The desktop should be down. You can all hear the music is fine and the voice is fine because once we're in, we're in. Does Dingo die yet? He hasn't died yet. Um, I think he's going to die near the end. Okay, so it's all fine. Thank you, Christopher. Okay. So... This is the coda written by myself and the chat. That's all of you lot. 
who have uh, been part of this. Um, okay, let's go. <clears throat> the coda. That's what we have so far. The coda wears a navy dressing gown, sits in his large apartment living room with giant windows overlooking London, reading a magazine about codes. What a load of Java! He sips coffee from his giant Sports Direct mug. Now that's the Java I like. Damn it, that's what I'm bloody talking about. Quality! The coda then looks around the room and you hear a crunch. Ah, oh, I love chips. We see that he is talking about microchips and the crunch came from him eating a microchip. He burps. The phone suddenly rings. The ringtone is Hyperlink by Eiffel 65. What a song. What a beautiful day it is in London, the capital of UK. He sighs and begrudgingly answers his phone, a flip Motorola. Talk now, nah. pronto. Coder, get out of there. What? I'm having me morning Java and reading me coding mag, you muppet. There is no time. What? Who is this? What's the script? The Java script. The coder then looks at his phone to see the number and notices some movement in its reflection. He drops to the floor and bullets shatter his giant window overlooking London. Glass falls onto London in slow motion. Only 9am and Windows has already crashed. He rolls across the living room sideways, then does a forward roll uh, to, uh, to his Wi-Fi router and pulls out a pistol. Rolls back to the printer, pulls out some bullets and loads the gun. The coder fires back. Just a bit of troubleshooting. Better take me tablet. The coder grabs a Windows tablet. We see a Bing search for circuit boards. He locks the tablet so that the screen goes off and sees three men lurking with body armor masked with machine guns. He does another sideways roll, unlocks the tablet and opens an app. Presses the screen and his television, radio, Xbox, microwave, kettle, shower and toaster all turn on. The three masked men panic and begin to shoot the toaster. Should have got that blooming warranty sorted. The coder then shoots at the men, taking out two of them. Uh, the final masked man does a leap out of the smashed window. The coder manages to grab and rip off part of the masked man's clothing before the jump. Not staying for a cup of tea. The coder looks out the window and sees the masked man parachuting down onto London. The coder looks at the torn material in his hand and it says Omniflux Incorporated. Opening titles. Interior, warehouse evening. A giant secret, um, a giant secret warehouse full of... Code scrolling vertically down uh, down large screens, wires, keyboards, servers, circuit boards, and, uh, and other computer components. Dingo, a very posh, bumbling British coding scientist, is building a house of cards out of floppy disks. Okay, old boy, that should do it. A door slams and the house of floppy disks collapses. Not again, Brian. Must you enter like a bull in a china shop every time? The coder, wearing a tracksuit with fingerless gloves, storms into the warehouse. This bull's just seen red. Don't tell me. Court hacking. Court hacking. Again. Not quite. As of it, I nearly got shut down. What? Are you okay? Yeah, but me toaster's brown bread. Dead. The coder interior uh, warehouse kitchen evening. The coder and Dingo sit at a small table eating buttered toast and drinking coffee. The television is on in the background. Omniflux, the tech giants, that can't be so. Tell it to me, Windows. And you say you received a call of warning? From whom? They didn't leave an email address. They used a VPN. A virtual private network? So you can't trace the call. Bingo, Dingo. Can you run a full diagnostic check on Omniflux, lads? On the Omniflux, lads? Already have. Dingo shows his black laptop screen and green text that says, Coding check positive. What? The coding check is positive? It all checks out. I don't think these are your lads, Brian. Who made the call? Who wants me saved? Who wants me deleted? The television suddenly cuts to breaking news. 
Oi, turn that up. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. The fo a photo of the coder is on, is on the screen. This man is wanted for crimes of hacking into the government and our royal family, uh, our royal family's Outlook accounts, to commit a terror attack on London, UK. The coder and Dingo look at each other shocked. Dingo drops his toast. Looks like I've just gone viral. Um, interior, the coder's apartment day. Back to his apartment. Police and forensic officers are in the apartment. Uh, crime scene yellow tape everywhere. Um, Detective Chief Inspector Craig Donald, 60 years old, uh, smart, moustached, looks around, bemused, shaking his head. Detective Inspector, Detective Inspector Samantha Kennedy, 30, arrives at the scene. Sorry, this is a crime scene, sweetheart. There's been a crime here, I'm afraid. A murder? Not a liberty to say, madam. Could be terror-related, though. D.I. Kennedy holds up her police badge. Well, it will be a murder in a minute if you don't shift yourself, bozo. Uh, the random police officer looks absolutely mortified like he's about to cry. Sorry, ma Sorry, ma'am. I'll, I'll, I'll get the coffees in. Yeah, you do that, sweetheart. Samantha, it seems like they're all falling to crime these days. But boss, not the coder. I've seen this many times. You can't trust anyone. Um, what are you? What are you saying, boss? This code's been corrupted. Uh, Di Kennedy stares at DCI Donald in disbelief. She begins to march around the apartment, desperately searching for some evidence. She looks at a bowl of microchips and a coding magazine. Who knows what his game is? Probably a big paycheck, but a terror attack on Her Majesty. Seems a bit out of order, don't you think? Dia Kendi then notices that the Sports Direct mug still has coffee in it. She looks confused. She then quickly turns to look at the toaster. It's missing. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, I can fix that now. Uh, no. No. Something's not right here, boss. He would never abandon Java. Uh, Di Kendi looks out the window onto London, step back and realises uh, that... Uh, one of the large window panels is different to the others. Uh, it's du it's double glazed. Brian hated double glazing. He said it was one more layer between him and the city he loves. London, UK. Flipping X, Samantha, you might be onto something. He would never update windows. Coder and Dingo enter, enter an old, worn-out-looking internet cafe called Megabyte Internet Cafe and, and Printing and Sons in the city of London, UK. The coder is disguised in a fake moustache, a long-haired wig and a bowler hat and a three-piece suit. Dingo is wearing exactly the same disguise. Brian, are you sure this is the place? Dingo, you're the smartest code scientist and analyzer in town. And even you can't, and you can't see this, you absolute muppet. Coda lot, haha. <laughs> Dingo uh, looks at the building and then at Coda, confused as they enter. They go to the front desk where Paperclip, a nerdy looking uh, man wearing a, 90, a Windows 95 t-shirt, is wearing a comic, sorry, is reading a comic book looking bored. Hello? The man ignores, mm. the man ignores them. Vista. Um. Uh, paperclip. Excuse me. Hold it together, paperclip. Right. Yeah. Nice one. Sit. Chorus, bruv. Paperclip lifts his mouse pad up and presses the secret button on the table. A desk with a computer on suddenly moves to the side, like a sliding door. Dingo is shocked. Coda laughs. <laughs> Nice one, bruv. Oh, sorry, that's Co that's Coda. Nice one, bruv. Bruv? Get with the lingo, dingo. Sorry. <laughs> Behind the sliding doors is a lift. Coda and Dingo get in. Paperclip looks outside, making sure no one is watching, and presses the button to make to make the room go back to normal. Um, 
he looks back to reading, sorry, he goes back to reading his comic. He looks at his screen where he's just done a Bing search for bowler hats. That's like a little comedy bit. Interior, coding layer, evening. Coder and Dingo walk into a giant cave-like dungeon. Um, it's very dark with codes, zeros and ones, like our background here, um, projected around the cave walls in green. Dingo looks terrified and then realizes something. Wait, I know what this is. You mentioned this before. This is where the this is where your mentor works. You finally switched on, Dingo. <laughs> where is he? Uh, motherboard uh, comes out. He. <laughs> Motherboard emerges from the shadows wearing a black cloak. Dingo, I've heard so much about you. Heard you can hack a mainframe in six seconds. Uh, well, five seconds as of yesterday morning, milady. <laughs> Sorry. Motherboard smiles and Dingo blushes. Well, uh, what are we going to do with you, Brian? I'm hacked off. I never done nothing. And I love my country, UK. You think I don't know that? Didn't you recognize my voice? You made the call. You auto saved me. Look, there's no time. They're coming for you. They're coming for you and Her Majesty of UK. Excuse me. Who? Suddenly, the green lit codes turn red and masked men storm the lair with machine guns. Damn it, get down! Bullets fire into motherboard. No! She glitches as they hit her. She makes a, wira, a Windows error sound. A win, a, we'll change that to a Windows shutdown sound. Uh, as she screams. She is a hologram. She disappears. No! We had a connection! Coda grabs Dingo and shoves him under the table. Don't lose your dongle, Dingo! Plenty more fish in the sea. Drive. We should have a little. Plenty more fish in the sea. Drive. Coda gets under the table with Dingo and, and loads his mini machine gun. Gun shots suddenly echo from the other direction. It, it's a double-sided attack. Don't be so sure. I recognise that shooter noise. A sold off shotgun. They see Paperclip do a flip, then a forward roll, and join them under the table and join them under the table. They nod to each other. Time to empty the recycling bin. Uh, let's do this ting, bruv. Uh, they do a synchronized sideways roll and begin to fire back. Dingo hides under the, under the table, trembling. What's the matter, Dingo mate? Never shot a shooter, bruv. Why make all that noise when the best way to offload is code? Um, Dingo uh, has opened his Dingo has opened his mini laptop and is typing code very fast, like the camera's sped up almost. Like it's really fast. Uh, you shift left, I'll shift right. What about him? Uh, looking at Dingo, he's going incognito. Uh, Paperclip does a run up and throws a diving punch into one of the men. <laughs> a masked man is suddenly behind Coda and is about to shoot him. Dingo presses enter on his laptop. That should do it. Sprinklers turn on and the man pointing a gun um, has his mask fogged up. Paperclip... Uh, paperclip... Sorry, uh, where are we? I got distracted. Um... Sprinklers turn on. Paperclip throw. Oh, sorry. Here we are. Dingo presenter. They that that should do it. Sprinklers uh, turn on. Paperclip throws a floppy disk into the man's neck. Uh, I think that's where we were. Sorry. Floppy uh, disk man was into the man's neck. Nice work, Dingo. He won't eject that disk. Good save, Clippy. Coda and Paperclip nod to each other and roll back under the table. Did I miss a bit? Ah, yeah, never mind. You, you get the gist anyway. Coder and Paperclip nod to each other and roll back under the table. Um, the masked men have finally removed their masks. They all look exactly the same. Like clones. 
Bloody hell, they've only gone and copied and pasted. I've located a back door to escape. Dingo has a map of the building up on his screen. Um, uh, but how do we get there, bruv? Coda looks around as he's deep in thought. As about a... F in fact, we'll change that to how's about... Has about a firewall. Uh, Dingo and Paperclip look at each other confused. Uh, Coda points his gun at a barrel of oil and shoots it, uh, causing the oil to spill out. Uh, he then grabs a very long HDMI cable and lassos the barrel so that um, it rolls across the floor in front of the approaching men. He he pulls he pulls a USB stick out of Dingo's laptop. You didn't eject it safely. I know. He throws it onto the oil, igniting a large flame, a literal firewall. That's what I call a hot fix. Access denied. Uh, Dingo and Paperclip rush towards the exit. Coda looks through the flames and sees his clone's faces melting and then joins the other two. So that's where we're up to. Hello, everyone. Welcome. That's where we are up to in, in, in the in the screenplay we are writing. I apologise. I, I believe I missed a, a, like a, a short bit of action there. I got distracted because a little thing, uh, a, a McAfee thing popped up. That's where we're up to. Incredible action. My heart's pumping. That's good. Great to hear, Chris, a bit. Uh, before we continue, uh, Dan, Dan Hardman 00. Thank you for one bit. Man. I need to turn it off so that we don't get one bit coming up no disrespect Dan Hartman it's just that we could then have hundreds doing one bit and it would clog up the old activity feed it might even happen now uh, because um, we might have we might be on the main page of Twitch at some point uh, just so you know probably not with the coder although that might be an idea now, probably with the old hot Pepsi. Uh, Squid Pie underscore Meow Face. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Coda. Robotron. Thank you so much for the two month street. Happy final anniversary, honey. I know you're busy with your writing. Thank you very much, Robotron. Can we please have a shout out for Robotron? Not that he needs it. A very, very good comedian and streamer. Um, he jumped onto streaming very quickly once uh, the world ended, you know. Um... I have to do a gig on Wednesday, Robotron. I have to do it. And I don't really have a choice because it's kind of an audition for something. Yeah, I know. It's Yeah, I know. All right, everyone. So that's what we're up to. I know, I know, I know. But it's like I kind of, I don't have to have to do it. But someone wants to see me as an audition gig, which basically everyone it means... You know, that could be something um, on, t on TV, basically. And it's like, you know, these opportunities don't come around that often. Thank you for all the good lucks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Audition for Arsenal manager. Um, it would, No, that that's not a televised. I guess it sort of is a televised gig. Is the music still playing? Oh, it is good. The track just ended. So that's where we're up to. So they've just thank you very much, uh, Kim Justice. Thank you for all the uh, all the good lucks. I really appreciate it. In fact, on a Tuesday, if I'm free on Tuesday, we can jump on and do another script writing stream. Uh, and we did one before, so it was a bit like this, but um, obviously quite different. Uh, Andy Sandal, thank you very much for 100 bits. Uh, great to see you got the new Bobby back working boss. Thank you very much. Um, if you don't know what that means, I've got a, I've got a new lappy. Um, which a lappy is what we call a laptop in, in London, UK. But in, in Scotland, UK. Yes, that is also UK for the international audience. Uh, it's actually called a, 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 a Bobby. Now, yeah, so we're... Uh, no, on a Tuesday, I jump on, I'll do a stream, which by the way, that stream, if you're watching on YouTube, that doesn't go on to, um, why is it cold in here? That stream doesn't go on to YouTube. 
because uh, I, I don't want to do that with my material. It, it will be up on Twitch for like 30 days or whatever, but that's one that you want to join us live on. I can't actually, I can't show you the Bobi because it's there. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. One second. Okay, so why has it done that now? So it's like, um, so it's like, uh, I look like I'm, I'm uh, on, a, on a night out, innit? In Scotland, UK, a laptop is a wee boby and a desktop, a desktop is a big boby. Oh, is that right? It's quite, I've got quite a big, but so, uh, it's terrible, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Absolutely shocking. It's quite big. It's quite a big one. So, so where do we go now? We can get back. We can, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, we can get back to, okay. There's two places we can go. We can go to DI Samantha Kennedy. I'll, I'll show you before we get writing again. Uh, I'll show you the cast list. I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. So I'll try not to ramble today about random stuff. I did that last time. Um, can you see that? Oops. So this is our cast list, right? So I'll go through it quickly. The coder is Jason Statham. Dingo is Benedict Cumberbatch. Newsreader is. I'm gonna have to take that on. You know. I spoke to the and they said we really want you. Um, Universal said we really need you to be in it, so I'm going to be the newsreader. Uh, random policeman is Martin Clunes. D DCI Craig Donald, the Northern officer who's close to retirement, is Sean Bean. DI Samantha Kennedy is Phoebe Waller Bridge. Paperclip is Stephen Merchant. Uh, motherboard is Madonna, of course, and the masked men are also Jason Statham, of, of course. Although they might be CGI just because we can afford it, you know. Um, it's really annoying me that bit of thing there. Does that not fix it? Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Ten thirty. Message me on Discord or I'll message you. And I want to talk about how... Oops. This is the song. I love this track. I need to see what it's called. Wait wait till it drops. It's incredible. It's going to drop in a second. It's called Meteor Binge. Okay. Turn it up. Wait, it hasn't dropped yet. When it drops, I'm going to turn it up. So... We can go back to, is D.I. Samantha Kennedy Motherboard's daughter? He's writing some code, he knows he needs to D.I. Kennedy she knew they do uh, she can also code we'll find that out later okay so uh oh, i thought it was gonna come back in spoiler alert yeah Thank you very much for subscribing, Delboy Son of Castolo. A three-month street, Coda Hype. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, it's hard to write when this, when the music's this good, you know. It's like uh, we fall we we fallen in love in this club, you know. You know you you, you you feel me? The most prestigious coding academy in Europe. So. 
Where do we go from here? They've escaped, okay? They've escaped the building. First, we need to figure out where we're going. The steel drums. Normally, steel drums wouldn't be that good, would they? But um, in this, when's Eddie Murphy coming in, boss? I love that Eddie Murphy is back doing stuff, man. Did you know that Richard Pryor kept doing stand-up right till he died? I didn't know that. And he had... Is it multiple... What did he have? You know, I need to check because that's rude. He had multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. He'd been ill for years. A, a degenerative disease of the nervous system. So he had to sit on a wheelchair or like on a chair on stage, and he kept doing it. I ab I love him so much. It makes me emotional when I watch it. And he's he's specials, and he's so good. He's so good. You see British comedians going at him, bro. And trying to force sad bits into their shows, right? And their life isn't, like, their lives aren't that hard. So they're like, I had a breakup. And then they literally, they literally cry in their shows. And it's like, he's talking about some incredibly dark stuff. Of his upbringing. And when he talks about shooting his car. Which is true. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, I just had a go at comedians there, but it's fine. They, they know what they're doing, you know what I mean? If you're posh, what do you have to be sad about? A breakup, innit? It's like, they act like they're the first person to be dumped, you know? Uh, okay, so. So let's, give me ideas, everybody. So remember, this is a, uh, not interactive. It's a, what's, what's the, forget it. You don't need to tell me the word. We're all working together here. Um... What happened? Where do we go from here? Collaborative. That's it, Shandy. Thank you. Where do we go from here? Looking at the chat. I'm actually going to get another monitor. I've got two at the moment. I'm going to get a third small one. They split up. We do need... I mean, look. Dingo and Coda can be together for ages. Like, we imagine it's a film... Where I know, I know, Monkey Shaver. Uh, we we think it's a film where it's going to be the coder going around by himself, but it doesn't have to be. It could be him and his little sidekick there, Dingo, doing quite a lot together. Or obviously they can split up and meet each other again. That's fine too. Um, we could always go back to Samantha Kennedy. She is the uh, officer who they know each other, right? Her and Brian. Brian Limmy, the British coder. That's who this is about. I didn't. By the way. When he was suggesting stuff to add to the film on his stream without even having seen it, which is fine. When he was saying stuff about um, Eddie Redmayne being on it, I think that's fine. Eddie Redmayne can pop up in it as a, some sort of scientist. Uh, but um, I, I, he had another idea, which I hated, about the coder's surname. Eddie Redmayne is garbage boss. Do you mean as an actor or as a guy? What page are you up to again? I believe I'll check again for you. It kind of doesn't matter because we can always go back and edit stuff. Sorry. It says page 14, but... um. Two liters, everybody. Very important. Bottle big enough. You need... Listen. Listen, you lot. Listen. Get on Amazon, right? Did you know... Uh, okay, sorry. I was checking before. Let me check the page number. So we're about... We're almost... We've almost finished page 12, Okay. We've almost finished page 12. That's where we're up to. So that's roughly 12 minutes, okay? A page is roughly a minute. Roughly. <sighs> I recommend when they regroup, they do it at a local travel lodge. Anything with a travel lodge, they will pay 
for half the movie. Nalzi, message me, whisper me your address if you want, and, and I'll send you a hat. In fact... Sorry about the yellow. The yellow is, get, is disappearing. But you got this one. Very nice. And you got the old, you got the black and yellow standard. And then you've got your good family man hat. Which I don't know. Oh, that's weird. That's the light. Okay, it must be the light. You got your good family man hat. And I know you're going to want a black and yellow because I know the kind of guy you are. Okay, and I know you like black and yellow. You see that? Absolutely stunning with the with the crest on there as well with the badge, uh, embroidered. You know what it is? Everything I do, I do it big. Black and yellow, black and yellow. So, Act Two is six month coding boot camp. So basically, the things we don't know yet. The things uh, the audience don't know yet. Excuse me, that's a water burp. The things the audience don't know yet is that, firstly, Motherboard, I think some of you might have not been clear on this. Motherboard isn't dead. She was a hologram. Uh, Dingo thought she was dead. Um, you bought some merch last night. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Um, motherboard isn't dead. She was a hologram there. Uh, but did she know they were going to be attacked or... Also, the um, what we what the audience don't know yet is that the clones could have killed the coder, and they didn't. You see, they were never actually trying to kill him. Give the mods free hats, absolutely not. They were tr they weren't trying to kill him. They were trying to capture him for some reason, right? So what's going on there? And anything else? Samantha Kennedy, Phoebe Waller Bridge used to she is a top coder herself she became a detective whereas the coder went more into he went it freelance you know what i mean that's not really his thing yes he's worked with the law before that's why they know him as a sort of private investigator type type chap he's 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 worked he's worked with the law before but um yeah Okay. Was the coder fired from the police? I don't think he was an ex-cop. He could have trained to be one or something. Sam Kennedy had a bad experience with coding, so she had to give it up. Personal tragedy backstory, sure. That's, that's absolutely fine. There will be a bit where she does some very important coding. I think maybe towards the end, or I mean, you know, it could even be halfway through. Flashback to the coder in the police academy. So where are we going next, everybody? You like the idea of her being Motherboard's daughter? I don't know. I'm not sure about the two female characters we have so far. Just being like mother and daughter, that feels a bit weird. Do you know what I mean? Even for this. Uh, motherboard could be called Pearl or Ruby. Sure, I mean, we don't even need to find out her name. Another hacker character from Motherboard crew, Ra Rasta? Cast anyone in dreads. A hacker with messy domain. Okay, look up hash table. Uh, I'm not, not sure about that. Uh... Beshadel test pass boss as Nazi. Ruth Wilson as the baddie. We've not got to the villain yet, by the way. I mean, it could be Eddie Redmayne. Can't you see they're creating clones? Now, does he talk like that? Let's hear how he talks. I had my last screen test in New York 
the day before I started rehearsal in Australia for Like Minds. And so I took these sleeping pills. I had to go straight off the plane to go and rehearse with Tony Collette. And I had a cup of coffee, two cups of coffee, in order that I could be present in the rehearsal. In the second day of rehearsal, I arrived and halfway through the day, she was like, Eddie, it's really nice to meet you properly because yesterday you were insane. You were literally a crazy person. Is he Australian? I thought he was English. He's horrible. I thought he was one of ours. I thought he was one of our own. As a kid, my mum and dad would take my brothers and I to basically He's not Aussie. Moves, what is he then? Sporadically. So when I heard he that was English. coming along, I was quite keen on the idea. I was doing a oh, film he is at English. the time. He's posh. A film called He's not Hick, even English. In which I was playing a Texan meth addict paedophile uh, with a limp. Did you hear that? And uh, posh, down in North right? Carolina. Posh, and I remember hearing that they were doing it. So in my trailer, dressed as a Texan meth addict paedophile. Now, I think what happened is his accent, it did definitely, his accent went a bit Australian-y there. And it's probably because he spent a lot of time out in L.A. I don't know if you heard Steve Coogan um, talk. Uh, Steve Coogan did the Mark Maron podcast, and his accent was going a bit American, which was weird. His Gibral Gibraltar brackets UK. I'm going to look at his Wikipedia. Du, 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 du. Uh, 1982, so he's 38. Oh, okay, he's a British actor. Red Man is the... Re okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Modelling, film and television, personal life. This is what I want to see. Red Man... Okay, is that it? Red Man was appointed officer of British Empire. Oh, he got an OBE. Ugh. For services to drama. And he was appointed ambassador of the f of film and education charity film. He enjoys playing Pro Evolution Soccer 5. Oh, what about his parents? Come on. Does it not have early life? Sorry, that's what I meant to go to. Redmayne was born, okay, in London Borough. Of... He was born in Westminster, man. His mother, uh, Nee Burke, relocation business. His father is a businessman in corporate finance. His paternal great-grandfather is Sir Richard Redmayne. Bloody hell. A civil and mining engineer. He has an older brother and younger brother. I can't. He attended, oh my God, he attended Eton House and then Eton College where he was in the same year as Prince William. Jesus. He went to read history at Trinity College, Cambridge. He graduated with a 2-1. Oh, you idiot. You, you didn't even get a first from Cambridge. What are you doing? Despite being colorblind, Redmayne wrote his dissertation, uh, Sinj Color, which is able to survive. He is able to see with vibrancy. What? Who cares, man? While at Cambridge, Redmayne was a member of the University Pit Club. I'm going to check what that is. It's a popular... The Pit Club is a private members club of the University of Cambridge with previously male-only membership. Jeez. But now open to both men and women. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. Started in 1835. Man, everything about the guy is awful, isn't it? Okay, so... Yeah, it's, that's progressive, isn't it? So, we're, um... Oh, I suppose we'll have to let women in then. <sighs> the baddie is the only person who could stand up to the coda. A clone of the coda. I liked... By the way, can I just say, I I do like uh, Lemmy's music for it a lot. Um, but it's only white women, yeah, obviously. But um, I, I like the start of um, the start of the song when he's like, who's that? So maybe he can start having, maybe we cut to a dream, right? Maybe we cut to a dream sequence. And the coda has started to uh, sort of have nightmares. Like he has these recurring nightmares, but we see it, right? But I forgot, oh, sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. Psychic against the clone, sort of. Richard E. Grant, yeah. Um, oh, but about Lemmy's music. No, no, I like that bit. I didn't like when he was saying he should have a different surname because of something. Um, a dream within a dream. No, it's not. We can't do Inception, Liam Ramsey. Could I? Pl could Lemmy play the villain? I'm not sure he's up to it in terms of acting. If you watch series three of Lemmy's show, if you watch episode four of series three, 
uh, that is not a uh, that is not a thespian. Thank you very much, David Earl, for the for resubscribing for two months. Could we please have a shout out for David Earl, please. Very good comedian and streamer. Uh, streams cricket if you like that sort of thing. We definitely need to have a scene where the coder has to do some driving to Jason Statham, show off his platform driving diving skills. Oh yeah. Oh, he has di diving. Um, and thank you, Evo Pop, for subscribing. Uh, for subscribe, oh, you just subscribe now. Thank you very much, Evo Pop. Welcome to the code. Okay, I think we cut to a dream sequence, and it's like the next day or whatever, isn't it? And um. Coda needs to get to Samantha Kendi to tell her that Samantha, it's not how it looks. You know what I mean? So maybe it's like uh, <sighs> dun, dun. Oh, let me get the music back on. Sorry about that. So maybe it's like, um, what about sticking an earbud in your ear? What a feeling, right? Flashback to when the Coda and Samantha first met, because they know each other. Um, too early for the Coda and Kendi to meet IMO. Polar Bear, I don't, they're not gonna meet yet. They're gonna meet way later, right? But I think a nice dream where it's Richard E. Grant laughing you hear a distinct laugh, right? And he does the, who's that? In the dream, could the coder, so they can all, so can he call her Sam? Yeah, but I like Samantha as well in silhouette. Could the coder try and stop someone from kidnapping the queen? Then it turns out it's him kidnapping her. There'll be a bit of that sort of thing. So. This is a dream sequence, everybody. This is beautiful music. Listen to this. He codes. with lots of reverb absolutely then will the coder fly the plane no maybe omniflux is releasing a new phone that secretly turns everyone into a clone how about we don't see him like the baddie how how about we don't see him like the baddie on inspector gadget how about we do would be great to have a c5 in there too Sorry, I know the music was loud. I've just turned it down. Okay, so. I turned it up on the old. Uh... It's beautiful. It's really nice music. The coder needs to fly a plane at some point. No, I saw that before, Wycov. Next time someone thinks full 56 dial-up sound. In fact, could we do it so that if you guys have a specific suggestion for the dream uh you you write at zafficakes first like wycove did just so that i see um you missed oh i missed a sub oh i'm coming to it um it was only 50 seconds ago um so that i yeah so that i see your suggestion uh because sometimes you're all talking to each other and i i listen i, I you're all making friends there and i don't care it's nice but uh, I hate it. So, interior. This is how we do it, right? Interior classroom day, right? Action. So then motherboard. 
is teaching really short and boring dream sequence to throw everyone off, says Alan Roffel. Um, very aggressive, some of you, isn't it? It's, uh, it tends to be the, the people who haven't uh, subbed. Motherboard is teaching. Is this a daydream? No, it's not. He's going to like... Ugh! Could he have... That's such a long message. It's a micro. Could he have a split personality when he sleeps? Uh, da, 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 da. So, no, 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 plays. He has recurring dreams of being alone in the house. In te is 10 minutes too early for a dream? No. It's actually about 13 minutes. There needs to be something so we know it's a dream. Also, the opening title is going to be like 10 minutes. So this is about 20 minutes in, really. Um, in the dream sequence, Tim Berners. Dingo dies in the dream. A bit of foreshadowing. Motherboard is teaching a class about coding. Now, what's a generic coding thing? Could someone who knows about this stuff give us a generic coding thing you could be learning about? Java? Basic. Recursion? Assembly. You know, like, um... I'll show you my favorite dream sequence, if it's on here. Oh man. This might not be right, but we'll give it a go anyway. Developing an HTML5 app. Dingo keeps glitching out of the dream. Coder can hear people saying Fs to pay respect. Now don't, are you gonna show them? Do I have anything dodgy up? distracted all right uh let me see if this works not that obviously are you serious is it not gonna all right fine we'll do it on microsoft edge that's fine then isn't it because um why is it not working what is it doing man oh my god what is this Microsoft Edge? What is this? What is this? Everyone, one moment, we're nearly there. This might not be the right scene, but let's have a look anyway. No, that's not right. Okay, create new. Why didn't that work? All right, I'm a probably I'm about to abandon this to be honest. Da 
Right, so we got that. And then the other ones are just blank. <sighs> Never mind. That was good, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Welcome, everybody. If you've just got here, this is we are writing a film uh, called The Coder, uh, based on the life of Brian Limmy. He's, uh, he's an actual coder. He is Scottish, but our main character is played by Jason Statham. Um, so he's from London, UK. That's a slight change we made. Made a few other changes as well. Uh, Froy Bard, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kima underscore Nan. That's a good name to TBF. Uh, I'm not a fan of them myself. Uh, heavy indigestion for me with that sort of thing. I think that's too much going on, you know. John Slater, thank you so much for uh, resubscribing for three months. Three months in and getting better and better. Cheers, boss. Thank you. Um, it's only going to get better now. With the new Lappy, we can do way more. I've already got Fall Guys, for example. Could even play that after this. Boss, the dream starts with the Windows loading sound, ends with, looks like a computer crashing. Okay, yes, we'll get to all of that. In fact, I kind of roughly know Motherboard is teaching a class about coding. Sorry, I wanted a specific thing from you. I wanted... Um, I wanted a thing about code. I wanted a thing about code, which is um, which she's teaching, right? Hello, Miss Havisham. C plus plus. That's good. Coder can't remember how to code in the dream. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, and with C++, remember to tag the old man when you have a legit recommendation. What are you talking about? Oh, tag me in, yes. Uh, We'll get, yeah, we'll sort out the little thing. So, and with C++, you really can do anything. Not that I want... Oh, wait. Not that any of you will get a C. Okay. The class laughs. Uh... Coda is smartly dressed, making notes, okay? Uh, Samantha Kennedy hands him a note. Do you see what I mean? So it's good bantering in this, but it's very good. Now let me give you some pointers. Can the coder have a full head of hair in the flashback? I mean, he can. The coder is wearing a hoodie. Yeah. I mean, I think for, for college or whatever this is. Again, the school system here is very vague, you know. You want to code behind the bike sheds. Blue screen. It's not going to be that kind of note, but we actually, we're not even going to see the actual note. Um, hello, boss. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. I still grow off. Uh, we're not going to see the actual note. Um, apologies, by the way, everyone, if, if you were here yesterday. Uh, and the stream ended early. It was a problem with my internet. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Miss Havisham90, for ho for raiding. Thank you very much. Welcome, raiders. Um, just, just writing a film. Just writing a blockbuster. Can we be ta can he be taking his notes in a Macintosh notepad? Uh, I like the idea of he's just making notes. Um, can it be very clear that it's the that the nineties that it's the nineties to show that it's a flashback? I think someone in the dream, either Motherboard or Sam, should foreshadow a future betrayal, make the coder paranoid. So I think he's going to have another dream later on. He could do something in this dream, like look in the mirror, and he sees himself holding a gun to the Queen's head. You know what I mean? Um...
He starts to open it. He begins to open it. When the fire alarm goes off. Uh, can he be the only class member to escape the window screen? Treason might be against TOS. Uh, don't worry about that. You lot don't have to worry about TOS or copyright stuff. I'll, I'll worry about that. Um, but thank you. Uh, okay, uh, let me just get rid of that. Okay. Hint to get a psychic link to the clones. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be some of that. Sam Kennedy suddenly looks like the coder. Foreshadows her becoming a clone and he wakes up. No TOS in Hollywood. Absolutely, Leia Lindsay. I think someone in the dream, either Motherboard or Sam, should foreshadow a future betrayal, make the code of paranoid. I agree, Taki. There's going to be some of that. There's going to be something strange happening. Like, everyone's going to turn against him, right? Basically, he thinks everyone... He thinks everyone thinks that he he does want to kill the Queen. In fact, And the fact that he's having dreams about killing the Queen is going to make him question... Uh, is this a dream or a flashback? It's kind of both. It's like a flashback dream, you know. He should be shown up in class by Sam, who is then shown up by Dingo. Paranoid. Nobody else seems to hear it that's quite nice uh, you can crack an encryption and find out that the queen is going to uh, comment on electoral politics he can only trust dingo and that makes him particular bereft when he gets shot 600 times sees the queen on a tenor but it's the coder wearing a crown. So I quite like that. Um, I quite like that he. Um, he would. Um, Samantha Kennedy and everyone is going to think that he is bad for a bit. And then even he's going to have urges to kill the queen. Sorry, let me play the music. So the scene I was going to play. Before breakfast, hey. Does anyone recognize this? Fetch some water from the valley before breakfast, hey? Yes, Sensei. Hey, girlfriend, why don't you throw more punches? Mike anyone break a nail, huh? Hey. Wooga, wooga, wooga. Why? What are you accusing me of? Sloughing off? Just kidding. Gosh, you're so sensitive. You got it in the back of the world. Hey, not bad. Now we have to listen to the Raw You theme, Ryu. I've come to see the door to oh, this. Oh, what's this? Not this crap. That's from Street Fighter Two, the animated movie. It's very good. Very good. This is music that's about to kick in there. Is this it? Hadouken theme. Why is it 30 minutes? Nah, it's a shame I can't find it. Someone did Street Fighter on my podcast the other day. What, the movie? Well, they're, they're an idiot, because that's absolutely awful. Um... My dad, this is Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, not um, not uh, the live action nonsense they did where Guile is the main character because he's American and he's not, he's got an, a foreign accent and it's never explained. It's uh, Van Damme, of course. Uh, he begins to open it when the fire alarm goes off. Coda looks around paranoid. No one else seems to hear it. It stops. Okay. 
bit of a weird dream, right? I think she's a friend of yours. Oh, really? Well, I'm even more glad to call her an idiot then. Uh, okay. He begins to open it when the fire alarm goes off. Coda looks around paranoid. Nobody else seems to hear it. It stops. Okay. I am joking, by the way, about that. Because I know someone's probably going to tag her in a tweet or something. And it's going to be someone I haven't spoken to in months. And then I'm going to have to meet them for ramen. And, you know, and... So, nobody else seems to hear it. It stops. Uh, and then... How about his coding class goes to Buckingham Palace on a field trip? So it's a uh, it's it's a dream, right? Don't worry, she wouldn't care. Uh, well, you know, people can pretend they don't. Could Prince Charles be involved? He's planned to kill the Queen because he wants to throne sooner. Uh, anything can happen in a dream. Exactly, that's the thing. So it's not going to be that they're on a trip to Buckingham Palace and then this all happens. Things keep changing into a different thing, you know what I mean? So you're watching this and you think it's a flashback and then you realise it's a dream, basically. <laughs> Motherbird turns into the queen in the dream. Yeah, that's not bad. Something like that. Uh, nobody else seems to hear it. It stops, okay? Coda looks behind him to see Dingo drop dingo accidentally yes, accidentally isn't it accidentally drop all of his books from his desk because he's all, he's all uh, you know he's all um, <sighs> clumsy isn't it he's clumsy could the queen humiliate Coda somehow You clumsy mug. You know a bit like uh, the dream in... Is it Armageddon? It's not Terminator, is it? What film is it where a woman is having a, like a, a nightmare that a meteor is coming towards a playground? I can't remember off the top of my head. Is it Terminator 2, yeah? Uh, God, I need to watch that again. I've not seen it in years. No, it's not. It's not melancholia, Shabba. That's what happens in it, isn't it? This is a. This is a dream about it. I like melancholia, though. I'd recommend that. I believe that's on Amazon Prime. You can't hear that, can you? that working bought uh, a very nice fan for the lappy uh, no music thank you Taki did I turn it off oh I closed it did I oh I we'll have to go back to the beginning stream beats <laughs> and everyone laughs. Coda tries to speak and no sound comes out of his mouth. He looks confused. He opens the note and sees a drawing of the queen. You see what kind of only one two. Uh sees a drawing of the queen. He looks up at I'll show you what the sort of thing. He looks up at motherboard and she has turned into the queen. He pulls out a gun and points it at her 
everyone in the classroom has turned into the coder. Okay. Do you see? Do you see the type of dream? That's it. Who's playing the queen? We'll get to that. They all turn and point guns at him. Okay. They smile at him. <laughs> Alan Carr. Julian Anderson. Oh, you mean Queen. Oh, is that... Olivia Coleman should be the Queen, I agree. Can they open their mouths and internet dial-up noise comes out? Smile at him. The alarm... Oh, sorry, they smile at him. The alarm goes off again. And now he can also, and now we can also hear. So what computer noise is coming out? We'll, we'll get to the casting of the queen in a second. What computer noise can be heard? Like a dial up, hard drive clicking, mod, modem dial up. Yeah, I agree. I think dial up is good. Fans, I don't think the noise of fans is very distinct, is it? Just gonna sound like fans. Dial-up sound is horrible. Yeah, exactly. Suddenly hear a modem dial-up sound. And Coda smart... Oh, wait. Dial-up sound. Is that too much there? Smiles and is about to pull the trigger. Interior. So, um, he's gonna wake up now, right? He's gonna wake up. The, is the music alright, yeah? He's gonna wake up. Um, so many children that watch this won't know what it is. That's okay, Lady Lindsay. It's, it's a little Easter egg for anyone, for any of the over 30s watching who are not the target audience, but you know, what can you do? Be warned though, they also use dial up sound from Neo's mouth. Well, this isn't from his mouth. Do they, Taki? Man, I should watch that again. I should watch Terminator 2 tonight, Matrix tomorrow. Have a nice uh, classic, classic uh, sci-fi type, uh, you know. The Matrix is currently in the cinemas. In cinemas. Coda sees a blue screen of death. Oh, you mean they've put it on in cinemas? Don't forget when the dream ends, it crashes out the screen. I don't know what you mean, Dr. Ronan. Okay, I don't know if I'm comfortable going to a cinema yet. I'm, I'm really trying to stay in as much as I can, you know. Wake up, shout Samantha's name in panic, and then cut to Samantha at the office so we can see more of her story about the investigation. I mean, this is pretty good. We know from this that Dinga, Coda, and um, Thingy Samantha studied together. A motherboard was the teacher. The dream crashes, Windows era sound. It's a great song. Does he really need a personal connection to the actual queen? No, I think he just loves his queen, you know? Sorry, what I want to ask is, he wakes up from the dream. Where does he wake up? Are they back at the... Uh, they could be back at the thingy, the warehouse place, or they have to keep moving, innit? It's good music, innit? They have to keep moving. So where could they be? That's what I asked earlier. Fire girl, I can't, I can't see every, you know. There's uh, hundreds of people talking at the same time. Oh, that's good. He can wake up in a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 
London Underground. I feel like they can't go on trains. I think he can wake up, Samantha is driving the car, and then he like rubs his eyes and it's Dingo. I think, by the way, I know that I did most of the work here, but I took a lot of what a lot of you said on board as I did it. Um, but I really like the dream sequence. I think it's actually decent. Because it suggests a lot of stuff, you know? Uh, back this because foreign audiences love like all the local stuff like going on the tube. They can go on the tube another time, I think. I think we could even have an action sequence on the tube, but I don't know if they... You wouldn't fall asleep on the tube. I think a car is good. Coda wakes up from his nightmare. Coda suddenly wakes up from his nightmare. Coda on the back seat. We'll, we'll figure out the car as well. A black cab on the back seat of a car. Laying down on the back seat of a car suddenly wakes up from his nightmare. Right? No! No! Skoda should be a van but you can't can you see the driver in a van do you know what I mean it can be a car because there can be a bit when he goes I'll drive and he does all sorts of sorry dingo I was just in sleep mode that's good that's good action he looks forward Tesla's good. He looks forward to... Um, shouldn't it be Clippy's car? We don't know whose car it is yet. Uh, but anyway. He looks forward to the driver. Looks forward to see the driver. And notices it's Samantha. He then rubs his eyes and realizes it's so uh, who's driving uh, dingo or uh, paperclip uh, paperclip's PC repair van in fact let's just do a poll we've not done one yet uh, more people are saying paperclip but I mean uh, it might be overwhelmingly paperclip but either can be driving I mean a very dry mouth should have made a should have made a green tea uh, so there's a one minute poll at the top of your screen there good evening Zardi can a mod make uh, can a mod give another person modding duties set the language to British English no, 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 we're not. Let me, this is for an international audience. So a lot of things are going to be quite vague so that Americans get it. He looks out the window and sees a billboard for the crown with Olivia Coleman. Oh, we need to cast the queen. Let's figure out who's driving the car first. There's a poll at the top of your screen. Okay, everyone's saying paperclip. Uh, realises it's... Realises it's actually... Oh, for God's sakes. It's a shame, Limmy, you missed um, you missed the read-through of what we have so far. Then do realise this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Um, this paperclip won the poll. Uh, okay. Realise it's, it's actually paperclip. And then paperclip can say...
So this is uh, Stephen Merchant, remember. Everything all right, bruv? Uh, and then what does uh, what does he say? I don't want to know too much in case I spoil things with the theme. No worries. Uh, I don't mind. Everything all right, bruv? And Coda says... Did he say just enter sleep mode? Sorry, I was just in sleep mode. That's it. Sorry, I was just in sleep mode. Okay, now... This is lovely music, isn't it? That's why I've got... Oh, listen, Lemmy. Uh, Richard E. Grant would actually be a good baddie. The baddie's not in it yet. We're not sure about um, Eddie Redmayne because we had a look at his Wikipedia. And he was in an Eaton's, Eaton Club, which only has just let women in recently. And I just, I just, I think I hate him, you know. But, you know, might get to work with him one day and then I'll be like, you know what, he's a lovely guy. But he might be a bully. Good, I think you needed a reboot. Okay, fine. Do we need... I think he can say sick. Sick one. You needed a reboot. Uh, okay. When Coda takes control of the car, suggest he says, now nah, paperclip, you've got bad drivers installed. Does that make sense? I met Richard E. Grant once and he was unbelievably nice. No, you didn't. He's a greeting teeny. Uh, who? Uh, Eddie Redman. I'm sorry, I missed what we were talking about. Who knows what drivers are? Eddie. All oh, right. Sick, sick one. You need. You needed a reboot. Okay. We need to upgrade the driver. That's good, Rational Carl. So before that, shall we cast the Queen? So the Queen was in the nightmare. We'll go through. Uh, we'll go through what we have so far in a sec. What time are we on? We're all right. The Queen is. Um, Miriam Margolis, uh, Olivia Coleman, right? So let, let's, we can do a poll maybe. Emma Thompson? I know her personally. I mean, I've not spoken to her since filming, but it's weird, man. It's like, it's like you speak to her and it's like she's just your mum's friend. She's just too nice. Suze Kempner. Judy Dench is perfect. Okay, so. Olivia Coleman or Emilia Clark. I think I want to go with Olivia Coleman. Uh, I mean, it could be an American actor doing a doing a British accent. It could be um, who's the one who played Thatcher? What's her name again? In the film. Isn't Coleman like 50 years too young? That doesn't matter. Should we have Meryl Streep? Okay, I'm going to do a poll. Someone came up with a good idea before that it's Coleman and the coder sees a billboard of the crown and realises why she was in the dream. Nah. That's, um... He's not going to, like, within this film, it's an hour and a half, right? In his dream, he's seen the actual queen. He hasn't seen... He hasn't seen a version of the queen in the crown which we don't have the rights to use in this film you know what i mean i think julia davis is too good for this Man megan markle all right let's do a poll so what are the suggestions it's olivia coleman Olivia Coleman, Meghan Markle, uh, and 
we'll throw a Meryl Streep in just to see if there's actually any interest there. And maybe we'll do it between the final two if it's, you know, close. Beautiful music, isn't it? I had to Google Angela Lansbury. She's 94 years old. Oh! We got the same birthday. Sixteenth of October. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see how the old poll is going. So everyone's saying Meghan Markle. So you want Meghan Markle to play the Queen? <sighs> all right. And it's kind of over. It's overwhelmingly um, Meghan Markle. So. Um, If it's Markle, the Daily Mail and Express are gonna have to boycott this film, The Grasses. Ah, uh, don't worry, we'll put in put in some Brexit. Oh, oops, we'll put in some Brexit thing, which makes them uh, absolutely love it. You know, it's up to us. We decide. He could kick someone out of a window. He can say, "Get out of here," and they keep charging towards him. He boots him out of window, and he goes. He, he says, um, "Sorry." Kicks him out of a window, and then uh, Jason Statham says, "Leave means leave." Okay. <laughs> Take back control, alt delete. That's good. Uh, okay, so. Sick one, you needed a reboot. Okay, let's go through what we have so far quickly. So, um, so he's escaped, they've escaped, right? And then we enter a dream sequence, basically, right? So, excuse me. That's all fine. Uh, interior, classroom day. Motherboard is teaching a class about coding. And with C++, you can really do, you can, uh, she could say that better. With C++, you can uh, you can do anything is probably fine and with c++ you can do anything and c++ is written on the board there uh not that any of you will be getting a c the class laughs coder is uh smartly dressed making notes samantha kennedy hands him a note he begins to in fact we'll say samantha kennedy smiles Smiles and, oh for God's sakes. Smiles and hands him a note. He begins to open it when the fire alarm goes off. Coda looks around, paranoid. Not paranoid. Looks around, panicked. No one else seems to hear it, it stops. Coda looks behind him to see Dingo accidentally drop all of his books from his desk and everyone laughs. Coda tries to speak and no sound comes out of his mouth. He looks confused. He opens the note and sees a drawing of the queen. He looks up at motherboard and sees, at, he looks up at motherboard and she has turned into the queen. He pulls out a gun and points it at her. Everyone in the classroom has turned into the coder. They smile at him. The alarm goes off again. And now we can also hear a modem uh, dial up sound. Coda, we can also hear, we can also faintly hear Faintly, wait, we can also, I forgot, we can also faintly hear a modem dial up sound. Coda smiles and is about to pull the trigger. Interior, car day. Coda laying down on the back seat of a car suddenly wakes up from his nightmare. No! He looks forward to see the driver and notices it's Samantha. He then rubs his eyes and realizes it's actually paperclip. Everything all right, bruv? Everything all right, bruv? Sorry, I was just in sleep mode. Sick one, you needed a reboot. Okay. Uh, let me have a look. I'm just 
just gonna see uh just gonna see how long this is now i don't know how long the bit is that we've written so that's page 12 so we've written about we've written about a page okay so now coder can say uh sorry let me do this first thank you very much uh sean Sean O C Sean O Con Gailey Sean O Con Gailey Is that right? I'm sorry about that. Sean O Con Gailey Sean O Con Gailey C No Con Gailey or is it S E N O Con G Hail it's Irish, haha. Can I just remind you all, by the way, if you have Amazon Prime, not only can you buy, uh, not only can you buy a two liter water bottle. Uh, that's two liters, everybody. It's very important. Let's just have a look at it again. Not only can you do that, but um, you can also give me, you get a free Prime sub. That means you subscribe to me for free. You get to be have all my emotes and you get to um, be part of our community here. Not that you're not, by the way. Can I also make clear that, um, oh, that's fine. Can I make clear that if you want to watch this for free if you can't afford a prime sub if you don't have amazon i'm very happy for you to be here for free i absolutely love free stuff i love that i can be with you now and it doesn't cost you any money to see it, it doesn't cost you 10 to 20 quid like a stand-up show would or whatever um you know what i mean um by the way does anyone here live in at near Alexandra Palace in, in North London. That's where I got a gig there on Wednesday if you want to come. It's it's like a normal gig. I'm just doing like 10 minutes, but it's, yeah. it's I'm, I'm basically auditioning for something, but you won't know about that or it, that. They're not going to tell anyone that. I think, I don't know if I'm, I think I'm the only one. Someone's coming to see me for something. At a pub. You know what, fish bob? I don't even know yet. Probably it's going to be a social distance one, so it may well be out outdoors. I'll come to heckle. Try it. This is our song, everyone. I don't know. I don't know where it is yet uh, exactly. They've not sent me the full details through. I think they're just confirming it. This is our song, everyone. This is what I'm going to walk down the aisle to. Post the link in chat. It's called Meteor Binge. Code Sam doesn't know. He's cloned. She's a code. People clone the code. You do. You do. Dingo thinks it's safe. You do. You do. Paper clips are disgrace. You do. He says, bruv. You know, something like that. Maybe we'll write some lyrics sometime and actually get it done. Thank you so much, Sub Jovi, for subscribing with your Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Nice Unit, for resubscribing for three months. And like I said before, I do, uh, the, the subs are very much appreciated because it puts me in a position where. Sorry, that's too loud. It puts us in a position where it puts me in a position where in probably in like a year, a year and a half, maybe. I don't know if a vaccine, we can all drink a vaccine. I can then have a life where I can keep doing this with you. And this is I've literally look, I've been on here since uh, I've been on here since late April. So I've, I've hardly been on here much time. Uh, but I really love it. I'd love to keep doing it. And I'd love to, uh, yeah, be in a position where the car crashes, where I can keep doing this. Uh, and 10 mins, hope you have your headline, hope you have your headline our night in the set. 
have is it have you have you headline our night in southwest soon mate had Stewie do it recently had a lovely time but the tunes were nowhere near as good as this sam michael yeah just send me a message um the thing is though i'm trying not to travel too far for gigs but obviously you know i turned one down right i turned one down in crystal palace in the stadium which was nice money and it would have had you know john robbins headline i think i would have been opening uh but i just thought that's so far crystal palace from me and then i got this gig i have to do on a wednesday now uh and i have to do it because it's a big opportunity it's not a normal gig uh someone wants to see me for as a potential audition basically uh possibly they might have heard of me for, through the twitch stuff so that's good if, if that's what it is i'll see if i can actually find out off my agent but um, anyway that was that was some very boring content Wagwan Kodamon. Mandem, switch it off. Mandem, switch it back on. That's very good, 1030. Had a good idea about the code of replying with either I needed a refresh. Ah. You needed a reboot. Yeah. I'm feeling refreshed. And then, sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. How's about we change drivers? Time to change drivers. So should we say it's a minivan instead then? Update. Okay, time to update. Yeah, fair enough. Should we say it's a minivan instead? PC repair minivan. Uh, he looks forward. Uh, let's see. So let's go back here. He's laying down in the back seat of a. Let's just say minivan because it can be whatever you want it to be. Really, the vehicle. I mean, it's going to be made specially for the film anyway. It should be paper clips. Did you know that in the film Parasite, that the director just had that house made? That's not a house that already existed that they filmed in. He had it made specially. I didn't know that till recently. Um, the guy's line after mine, driver update required, was the best one. Time to update drivers. Yeah, driver update required, do you think? Is that better? Still haven't seen that film. Get it watched, Fridge. I think it might be on Netflix, but really we only want to talk about what's on Amazon Prime. It's fine, I think. I think it's all right. Thanks for the hype train, everybody. I'm not sure if I've got the hype train on the wrong settings or if anyone pays attention to it. I don't, I don't really get, get it. But I mean, I, yeah, I kind of get it, but okay. It's on Prime for rental. Everyone, did you know you can rent it on Prime? What's a hype train? Uh, it's like the hype train is a target of a certain amount of subs and bits and stuff and donations. But I haven't even set what the limit is. I don't. Twitch is too complicated nowadays. The camera is a it's just it's just your standard Logitech C920. Uh, my monitor, I've got my monitor is a Dell uh 24 inch very nice brand new one from john lewis my lappy i can't remember what it is but it's it's there it's under the i think you might only be able to see this if you're on a browser i don't know but underneath you can see exactly what my laptop is it's an amazing gaming laptop i'm very happy with it uh alan roffle thank you for 100 bits and i should say when i started this literally i got this yesterday well i got it like the day before yesterday i streamed for the first time on it yesterday so for for like three months or whatever my setup was all much much cheaper so you can do it all cheaper you don't have to go all out so you know if so what i'll do is on my stand up where we write some stand up on a tuesday i'll um i can talk more about 
what my setup used to be and how you can get a sort of a fairly cheap setup if you're interested in that sort of thing. We'll just see how we feel on Tuesday, innit? Um, but yeah, I need to get more people streaming. Also, um, no need 5k lights, absolutely not. Also, uh, if you know any streamers that aren't white, point me in their direction because uh, Twitch is, you know, mostly white and just want to support some people, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm Scottish, that does not count 1030. And I'm not gonna, nothing's being taken away from any, from any white streamers, all right? We're still gonna continue to raid random white strangers. Don't worry about it. But at the moment, honestly, I know about four British ones anyway. I know about like four. If you wanna tweet me about them, maybe that's a better way to do it. Uh... Like we did a we did a random raid a week or two ago a week or two ago, and uh, I was seeing like okay who's in my recommended that's who I tend to raid right, and there was like a there was a black girl screaming uh, screaming streaming there was a black girl streaming, and um, she wasn't she was fine, and I was like oh. I've not seen it's British as well, and I was like oh I've not actually seen anyone else like that do you know what i mean okay but i'm saying this right because i want to uh ban all of them from my channel and i want to keep twitch as white as possible so yeah i'm feel i'm feel i'm feeling very i'm feel yeah i'm feeling refreshed time to update drivers She was a nice family woman. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. If everyone, anyone can remember. But she's very good. She was playing Sims. So far, I know her. Black Mario. I know he's not... Can you hear that alarm? For God's sake. Black Mario, who's obviously not British, but he we absolutely love him. And... Uh, also, um, Inel. Inel Tomlinson, who is in my... Uh, Stream team, who's a very good British comedian, and he's also streaming. The non-white streamers I follow are mostly Smash players. Sheila, uh, in L, yes. Sheila's half white though, so that doesn't count. That's a joke. Right. Yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. Time to update drivers. Uh, let me think. Hype train success. Thank you, and thank you very much. JHDMS for the for your two month resub. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I need to get a little monitor here because I don't like looking across. I'd much rather be looking here where it's less. Yeah. Okay. Not an expensive one. I'm not white, but I'm a streamer to be honest. I'll use Zardi. I didn't know that you streamed. We'll give you a raid one day. If anyone if anyone here by the way streams and wants a raid at some point, very happy to do it. Uh, if you do. I was going to say if you stream later, but I'm going to start doing more daytime streams as well. Um, just send me a message on Discord or, or Twitter or whatever. Uh, I'm white, but my hair is black and I stream. Listen, like I say, you can all you can all still have a raid. Nothing is being taken away from you. I just want to uh, support more people that aren't, uh, that you know, that are like me, and also, um, I don't want to do like an article about it because I don't want to get loads of abuse online for saying that. For saying, you know what I mean? I will hundred percent get people being like, well, "Oh, what about white raiders? Oh, is it bad? Sorry, white streamers, is it bad now to be a white streamer sorry you have to explain all this said later Lindsay. i'm just in case someone's just got air and you know you people are you know uh all all streamers lives matter can we ban anyone that says that not really i'm j joking limmy did that the other day and then i got a timeout off of lanky Mar marlon and i knew it was him who done it i am trans though listen uh I'm supporting all of you as well if I can, if you, if you are streamers here. But I'm just saying it would be nice. I'm not going to make a stream team. 
of like non-white people because I don't like that either because oh god I don't like being put into lists where it's like he's the here's the uh, BAME POC people you need to look out for because I'm like hey I'm as good as any of any white comedian I'm better than any white comedian <laughs> I love this music how did meet Limmy I met him at the Edinburgh Fringe on this day because Instagram memories that thing told me I met him I think I think that's right if I did Instagram it on the same day uh, Masood Milas I'm so sorry I forgot about him he's a friend of mine I totally forgot he slipped my mind Masood Milas is another one um, he messaged so I knew him from Twitter and he messaged me one day when he was up at the fringe and he said uh, do you want to do you want to get some food in town and I was like bloody hell and I've known him since then do you think the restaurant you walked out of has this date commemorated? They should. It's too expensive, that place. It was ridiculous. That was like the year... That was like two years after or something. Like, I knew him very well by this point. So. Yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. Time to update drivers. Uh, and then he jumps in the front seat and takes... Coda jumps into the driving seat as paperclip in fact hold on I need to make something clear here as paperclip jumps to the side excuse me that's a that was a hiccup get to the Skoda coda can you hear that alarm listen so annoying man constantly around here it's like gotham i basically live in gotham but i absolutely i love it something about shifting gears that's good that's good now i hear it oh i turned my uh turn my gain up for that okay so i want to show people as well like look you can be like me and do what you want. Do you know what I mean? Don't matter if it's all run by posh people, the comedy industry, or I mean, I wouldn't say that streaming is. I mean, I guess technically Bez Bezos. But um, you know, you can you can set stuff up for che fairly cheap. You can do whatever you want on here, and I, you know, anyway. Coda jumps into the driving seat as paperclip jumps to the side. Now I need to make, sorry, what, when I said need to make something clear, Coda laying down on the back seat of a minivan suddenly wakes up from his nightmare. He looks forward and sees the driver and notices it's Samantha. Rubs his eyes, it's actually paperclip. Uh, Dingo sits next to him, typing away on his laptop. So he's just, he's always coding in it. He's constantly hacking mainframes for, a, you know, just for fun. I wrote a little song earlier. Can I, can I play it on stream if I want? Can do what we want. Oh, I can. I'm sorry, FC. You were saying you can play it on stream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You do whatever you want. I mean, look at me, you know. Uh, Coda jumps into the driving seat as Paperclip jumps to the side. He should hack the traffic lights. That's nice. You know what? Because that's such a nice idea. Willy. Willy one 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 one. You are now a VIP. Congratulations. Uh, Coda jumps out of the driving seat as Paperclip jumps to the side. I would not accept an MBE. I just saw that someone said, if I ever get offered an MBE, you lot remind me not to take it. F that, right? Okay. As if I could, you know, I just... But anyway, Coda jumps into... As if I would even be offered it, but, I, you know. Should... Uh, Zafikate should do what they did in Spider-Man 3 and have a red and green 
men have a fight. Did they do that in Spider-Man 3? Oh my god. I went to see that in cinema. And I remember I was so happy about 10 minutes in when it looked like it was going to be a good film, right? There's a scene where uh, Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire, he gets uh, a, an engagement ring for Mary Jane. And I can't remember what's happening, but he like drops the ring. It's like a fight scene or whatever. He drops the wing, ring and he's like web, web swinging around trying to get the ring. And he like grabs it as he's swinging around. And I thought, this is great. And then, oh my God, my God, it, 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 it gets interesting, that film. <laughs> did you see the photos of the new Batman? He looks like emo Peter Parker. I did, but I feel like you can't judge things based on that stuff. I think we have to wait and see. But it, I have a feeling it's not going to be great. Uh, but, you know, wait and see. I don't, I don't usually um, read too much into films before also because I don't like having them spoiled. So if I really want to see a film, I don't uh, I don't watch the trailer. Literally, honestly, I've been in the cinema and I've done this where I've covered my ears and done that. Like pushed my thumbs into my ears and done that when there's a, a trailer for a film that I really want to see because of how much they get spoiled. Like uh, this, like for example, this wasn't a good film, but... Um, Terminator Salvation, I think, no, Salvation, I don't know, whatever, one of the Terminators that wasn't very good, right, one of the newer ones, in the trailer, and I I'm sorry, this is a spoiler, but um, in the trailer, you see that one of the characters has like a robot heart or whatever, right, a machine heart that's pumping away, and in the film, that's a twist, Why not just look down with your fingers in your ears, you muppet? Because, Shandy, if I've already got my fingers in my ears, I might as well use my fingers. If I've got my thumbs in my ears, I might as well use my fingers to do that rather than that. My God. You lot act like you've never covered your ears and eyes uh, in a cinema. So, Coda jumps into the driving seat as Paperclip jumps to the side. Let me double check how much we've written. Can I just say I'm very happy to be here now. Very happy to be with you all. I'm having a lot of fun. How much have we written? We've really written, not written that much today. But listen, that's fine. We don't have to do... So last week we, we done three pages. Uh, the week before that we done like... Uh, week before we did usually we do two pages today we've written one page now we can just leave it there and continue next week what do you think cricket was class today i didn't watch it because um it's just so one-sided and i feel bad because pakistan really let themselves down They really let themselves down uh, in the first test. And it's like... And then the, the second one getting rained off. It's like they can't even win the series now. And also it's so one-sided that it's not even... It's not exciting... Hello, Leopard. It's not exciting to watch as a neutral. Even. It's not like, oh, something might happen. It's just so nailed on for England to just win so easily. It's, it's not, you know. Although I was, I've actually been very busy today. I've been very, very busy, so I didn't uh, get the chance to... Usually, I'd have Test Match Special on. But I've been out and about, and I've had a very, very busy week. Now, should we leave it there for today in terms of the script? So I'm actually not going to... Because I have the gaming lappy... Oh, prediction for the uh, Champions League final tomorrow. Who's in it again? Bayern and PSG. It's got to be Bayern, but I think it's going to... I, th I think it's not going to be a rout. I think... This is my prediction for tomorrow. I think PSG are going to take the lead through Neymar, who's finally going to have, finally going to score a goal. Bayern do look scary. I think PSG are going to take the lead after 12 minutes. Remember this. Write this down. After 12 minutes, PSG are going to take the lead. Then Muller is going to equalise that half. 
one all in, in second second into the second half, and then Bayern are going to win three one. I think. Very specific prediction. You, you might as well be in it. Lewandowski will get a couple of goals. Yeah. Although Nabry, God, what is he's such a good player. He's so good, isn't he now? I think Bayern are more susceptible to, uh, at the back than people think, but I think their passing game will unsettle PSG. I agree, Taki, and I think that's why, because they do still concede goals, so I think they're going to be down first, and everyone's going to be like, they're going to do it, and then the German uh, juggernaut. Okay. I'm sorry if you're not into football at all, and that would have alienated you there, what happened. Apologies for that. So now, let's go through what we've written today, everybody. Uh, this is on PDF, right? Um, if you want to know, the script software I'm using is called Celtex, C-E-L-T-X. It was free when I was at uni. So this is what I used. Now they've changed it. So I think it's only, you can only use it online. But I've had this like download file with me for like, for like 10 years. Uh, are you looking forward to the Charity Shield? Yeah, you know, I'm more looking forward to the season. But it's nice to be in the charity shield for the for the Gunner boys. Celtex, that's it. Fun time, Tucker. You forgot to add the bit about hacking the traffic lights. Okay, I'll do that now. Coda accelerates towards toward a red light. Dingo presses enter on his laptop and the light turns green. That's lovely. That's lovely, you know. That's a great thing to happen. That's such a good visual bit. Dingo, work your magic. I like that he just knows, like they do this all the time. I think you should save hacking traffic lights for the car chase scene. I think fish bulb, although I think that's a good, I think what you've said there, I think what you got and said there was class, but I think he does it now like once and then later, uh, why would it matter? The coder is colorblind. Um, and then later, yeah, it's, it's a setup for later. Uh, but can I say, I'm very happy with what we've written today. Um, I know I sort of took the lead very much in terms of the dream sequence. But, um, you know, that's got to happen sometimes. Uh, anyway, let's go through what we have so far today. And then I'm not going to end the stream. We're going to do something else. Because I have the gaming lappy, uh, we can maybe play a bit of a game. I need one of those pad things as well, but not just yet. Because the thing is, I'm having a nice time here. And before I would have had to end stream because I didn't have many options of what I could play. Uh, I was operating off one monitor, so the game had to be windowed. Uh, so it would be commandos, maybe that level of thing. Uh, there is a game actually I do really want to play. I'll save it for another time. I've not in installed it yet. Um, it's not Minesweeper. In fact, I don't think... Unfortunately, I think that's a shame. Nah. These new computers now, these new gaming lappies, as amazing they, as they are, does not come with... Um, does not come with Minesweeper. And it's like, come on. Uh, Zardi, you might be on to onto something. Yeah, Zardi, I tried to stream it tonight, uh, last night, didn't I? And it, it didn't work. Okay, so everybody, we're going to read through what we've done today. Now, I would uh, normally read. I would normally read through the from the beginning, but it's it's quite long now. So instead, I'm just going to read through what we have so far. In fact, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to go to this screen. This is for when I edit later. Doesn't that look amazing? Don't I look? Don't I look incredible? It's pretty good, isn't it? That background. Uh, we're gonna go through what we have so far. Sorry, we're not. We're gonna go through what we wrote today. <sighs> okay, here. We
here we are. What minute are we on of this? So it's 10. And how long have I been? 2 hours 16. That's what I need to remember. 2 hours 16. Uh, okay. Just makes it a bit... And also, man, editing is going to be so much easier on this thing than it was on that. I mean, I absolutely love my PC that I was using. It's on a shelf there. Honestly, it's on a shelf above. I've got a shelf there. Let me grab something quite cool just to show off before we do the thing. Um, I've got a shelf there with, it's got some awards on it and my Edinburgh nomination thing, they give you this cool thing, which I, I mean, I could have grabbed it, but it's fine. Uh, and also I've got this that I bought a frame for, right? Now what's this? You see that? I think is the screen flipped. Welcome to the Benedict's Christmas show. Now what's that everybody? Why would I frame that? Because this was not, it is flipped, yeah, it's fine. This was not a real Christmas show. This was from the film Last Christmas in one of the scenes I was in. Uh, I My character, which this didn't make the cut, but my character was handing out flyers uh, for the Christmas show. Um, and that's one of the flyers. And I said to the one of the ladies there working on, who was she now? What was she working on? She was doing like uh, props and stuff. And like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what her job was, but I said, hey, can I keep some of those? And she said, yeah, yeah, sure. And then I forgot and I left the set and I went back and I was like, what, can I have one? And then, and I grabbed a handful of these popped one in a frame because I'm very proud to have this. Very proud of being in that film, even though I'm, you know, very, barely in it, but still, you know. So, and I've got it framed next to next to some awards there. The Leicester Square Comedian, Leicester Square Theatre New Comedian of the Year 2015 uh, runner-up I got, um, and I have that's where Richard Herring was emceeing that and I hadn't I hadn't met him properly before and then I'd done his podcast recently so that was that's a nice reminder and next to that I have the 2016 uh, Natty's New Act of the Year award which used to be called the Hackney Empire New Act of the Year and Stuart Lee won that before I was born which I was proud of and it's, that's it's like the longest running uh, stand up competition anyway and also one more and I have some Pez United stuff because I'm very proud of that and also I have a little pin badge which says sick of it, which I got a small acting job in Carl Pilkington sitcom called sick of it. And, um, I went to, they invited me to a screening. They screened two episodes and they had these little pin badges and I was like, yes, I'll take one of those. And I wore it and I've kept that. And that's a nice thing to just have, you know, I love, uh, I love a little, uh, memorable thing. I loved sick of it. TG Wretch, I'm in I, I play the cinema usher and I um I kick Cole Pilkerton out. I escort him out of the cinema in a scene. That's not that was a nice little bit. But very different. When you do a scene in a, in a sitcom, every single line I said had to be uh every take, so we we adjusted what I said slightly. But every take had to be exactly the same lines. I couldn't change like a, I couldn't do a slightly different thing, uh, and that's how it is. And there was a, someone whose job it is. Who I mean, I guess they also work on films as well. It was their job to be a continuity person, and they came over and said, "Look, you said it this way that time, so you need to say it that way again." I was like, "Oh." Uh, whereas in Last Christmas, the director Paul Feig, who done, uh, he did Bridesmaids, legendary. Uh, he worked with Jason Statham in a film called Spy, which is which is very funny. Um, and he just goes to me. He goes, uh, you and Amelia Clark, you're just going to improvise a little bit around your lines. And every take we done was slightly different. Uh, but he worked. That's how he works. You know, can you believe that suddenly I was just doing this improv bit with Amelia Clark? Ridiculous, isn't it? And a lot of it didn't make the cut again. But it's like, was that not scary? A little bit. But to be honest, um, she was, Amelia Clark was very, very nice. Like, she was so nice in between takes uh, that it put me at ease completely. And I was just, 
I felt such a natural high at the time. It was ridiculous. And then walking back to the car that was going to drive me back to my to my trailer, uh, just chatting with with Emma Thompson. And I made her laugh, and it was just very strange. It was very surreal. Uh, was she good at improv? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like improv, improv. It was just like, uh, just change what you say a little bit. So there was one take where I actually made her laugh, which I was very proud of. So we had to actually cut, right? Where And it, again, we didn't use it, but... So she brings me a fish, a goldfish, and she says something like... This Paul Feig suggested this. He said, give it a name. And she said, I've called it this. And then I said something like, so she said, like, I've called it John or whatever. And I said, I was bullied by someone called John. Something like that. But it was so like, it was random. So it, just, it made her burst out laughing. Um, and obviously we didn't use it. And I, and I don't think these outtakes are anywhere either. I think because I saw the, annoyingly, I can't get YouTube up. It's just not working. Uh they just left in a bit where I hold the bag wrong. And she says, hold it from the top. Uh, and it's a shame because in that outtake, you can't see sort of how much fun we were having. It just looks like a bit of an awkward moment, but it was like part of... Anyway, so we're going to read through what we have so far. Class story, boss. Thank you. I think it's, it's quite nice. I'm very proud of it, isn't it? Because I didn't have a very good year last year. Like, uh, it was quite difficult for me. Uh, not just personally, but like professionally. Uh, and then out of nowhere, when they just said, do you want to do this audition? I said, yeah, fine. And then I got a call and it's like, yeah, you're in this film uh, starring Amelia Clark, Emma Thompson, directed by Paul Feig. And I was like, what? I've just got it. Yeah. And I was in three scenes. But I'm in it for like, I'm not in it for longer than, I don't know, 20 seconds or whatever, but I really don't care. So, Let's read through what we have so far. Good anecdote game, yeah. Thank you. Uh, to be fair, telling stories is my job, basically. So, you know. That music is still... That's really good, that. That music is very nice. We're going to have that soundtrack. That playlist every week, everybody. Okay. Going to do a read through, and then we're going to play a game. Uh, normally we'd raid we can't hear the music I turned it off uh, for this I don't have the music so this is what we've written today where are we up to okay <clears throat> interior <clears throat> I said that weird interior interior classroom day motherboard is teaching a class about coding and with C++ you can do anything not that any of you will be getting a C. The class laughs. Coda is smartly dressed, making notes. Samantha Kennedy smiles and hands him a note. He begins to open it when the fire alarm goes off. Coda looks around, panicked. Nobody else seems to hear it. It stops. Coda looks behind him to see Dingo accidentally drop all of his books from his desk and everyone laughs. Coda tried to... Coda tries... I should say... Coda tries to speak and no sound comes out of his mouth. He looks confused. He opens the note and sees a drawing of the queen. He looks up at Motherboard and she has turned into the queen. He pulls out a gun and points at her. Everyone in the classroom has turned into the Coda. They smile at him. The alarm goes off again and now we can hear... Now we can also hit faint... The alarm goes off again and now we can also faintly hear a modem dial-up sound. Coda smiles and is about to pull the trigger. Interior, car, day. Coda, laying down on the back seat of a minivan, suddenly wakes up from his nightmare. No! He looks forward to see the driver and notices it's Samantha. He then rubs his eyes and realises it's actually paperclip. Dingo sits next to him, typing away on his laptop. Everything alright, bruv? Sorry. I was just in sleep mode. Sick one. You needed a reboot. Yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. Time to update drivers. Coda jumps in the driving seat as Paperclip jumps to the side. Uh, Coda, ac Coda accelerates towards the red light. 
Dingo presses enter on his laptop and the light turns green. So that everyone is what we have so far today. That's what we have it. Missed it again, good Pollock boy. What, you missed the read through? Where does Dingo, when paperclip moves over? Yeah, it's it's a slight error, but um, basically uh, Dingo, um, it should have said, it should have said that um, paperclip jumps to the back seat. And uh, Dingo stays where he is. Should have said that, but he didn't. Right, forget that. Oops, this is a bit. Just trying to get used to the two monitor thing, everybody. Uh, now let's let's do this oh, again. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, incredible background, mate. Thank you. Um, it looks good, doesn't it? Um, here we go. So, now, we're going to play a bit of a game, everybody. Inf oh, no. I did it wrong. Should do this instead. No. Sorry, I'm just being stupid. Uh, mm hmm mm hmm Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Discard. Discard. Looks like I'm watching BBC Bite Size. Bite Size did not look this good. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh my god. All right, focus. Right, now let's get it up. Uh, okay. There you are, everybody. You've all seen what it is. That stuff should not be on the screen. So, now that's annoying. Why has it done that? Oh, and it's not changing it. Oh, this is fine. This is fine, yeah, this is fine. I just panicked because if people's email addresses come up, um, that is secret. This is, I mean, this is meant, this isn't as bad. You're just seeing people's names and, and bits and stuff. Right. And that stuff, okay, so that just didn't work. By the way, everyone, this might take a while. <laughs> right. This may this may well take some time. webcam there didn't I too slow don't don't you do oh no 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 you've got to have yourself you've got to have yourself flipped otherwise you look weird I need to look how I do in the mirror otherwise it looks weird you know sorry I meant I was being slow all oh, right uh okay we'll try again window capture window capture okay It's just not doing it. It's just not. Now, why is that? What do I do? If anyone can help out. Is that not display capture? I'll do it again. No, that was window capture. I've tried game capture and for some reason game capture isn't finding it. It worked. I done it last night and it worked. In fact, can I change my scene? One second, everyone. I hope this doesn't end the thing.
Okay, so you can hear me. You can't see me though. Why is that? You should be able to see me. Need to change the mic input. Oh, is the mic input wrong? Oh, right. No, it's just the mic was muted. I'm sorry. So you can... Oh, is the mic different? Uh, it might be the wrong microphone. Uh, but you can't see me. Okay, okay everyone. I think, I think I'm going to have to, to uh, close, close this and then, and then open it again. Add a video source, source layer, layer in OBS. In OBS. Right. All right, hold on. Now I've disappeared there. Okay, everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to close this and open it up again. Uh, and I'll be back in like literally like one minute. Okay. Be right back. One minute. Okay.